What's going on guys, Esquire here, and welcome to my very first quest continuation guide. In this guide, I'm going to be covering the Brink of Extinction and finding the Wandering Gal, also known as Tazar Kal Gat, who can only be found under very, very specific conditions and unlocking the final lore in the bookcase of the Fight Cauldron. The only requirements to do this is to completely finish the quest, the Brink of Extinction, and unlock the Ring of Visibility from Desert Treasure. In order to complete this, you'll need an uncharged Toll Cool Zoe. If you have one that has any charges on it, you'll need to destroy it and reclaim a new one from Tazar Mez J in the Tazar Plaza. You'll also need at least one piece of obsidian armor. In my case, I chose the obsidian gloves because it only requires one bar to make or 12 obsidian shards. You'll also need 15,000 total cool plus the amount of obsidian shards you'll need. You'll need a set amount of obsidian shards. I'll cover both of those in the next slide. You'll need a ring of stone, a ring of visibility, and an amulet of glory with at least two charges on it. The amount of obsidian shards that you need is very specific and you have to have the exact amount in order for this to work. In order to find out how many you need, you need to open up your captain's log from player own ports and look at the very top where it says captain's log ring date and then it has a number after it. That number divided by 10 round to the nearest whole number. So in this case, the date is 4,770.11. So the amount of obsidian shards I'll need is 477. Just take the first three numbers and that's the amount of obsidian shards you need. You'll also need to add that amount of tokul on top of the 15k base tokul. So in my case, I need 15,477 tokul and 477 obsidian shards in my inventory when I complete this. The following clip is the exact method that I personally used to complete this easter egg. The first thing I did was equip my tokul zo, my obsidian armor piece, and my amulet of glory. I then entered the fight cauldron. The next thing you're going to do is donate your 15,000 tokul to the coffers directly in the entrance. What this is going to do is give you an uh, armor boost to your obsidian armor. At this point you have 20 minutes to complete the following steps. Teleport to Edgeville using your Amulet of Glory. Directly once you get there, unequip your Obsidian Armor piece. After that, you're going to use your Ring of Visibility on the Ring of Stone and Easter Egg Complete. Once you unlock the ability to both see him and talk to him, you'll be able to run through all of his chat options, which include a little bit of lore and a little bit of comedy about his travels around Gaianor and his magic. At the very end of your conversation, he's going to ask you to meet him back at the Fight Cauldron, in which case you'll opt to say, OK. Getting back to the Fight Cauldron is fairly simple. All you're going to do is use your Amulet of Glory to teleport back to Karamja, run due west back to the volcano, and click on the entrance. To get to the Fight Cauldron from the entrance, you're just going to run north and around the bend in the plaza, back south, directly east, all the way over, and then take it back north. Once you're into the entrance, you're going to see the gal standing right next to the bookcase. You're going to be able to talk to him to unlock all the lore that the bookcase has to offer about all the Elder Gods and the remaining parts of the Brink of Extinction. After that, there is nothing remaining to do, and remember, you have 20 minutes to complete all those steps. It takes about five. You'll be fine. Trust me. If you guys found this guide helpful, please feel free to hit that like button, and also if you're new, please feel free to subscribe for more videos like this, and until next time guys, PEACE!